In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to compute a GPA. Now, in front of you, you see a simple chart set up that shows five different classes being taken, the number of credit hours of each class, and the actual grade the student received at the end of the semester. Okay, we also see down below the table uh, that when computing a GPA, an A is equivalent to four points, a B is equivalent to three, a C is equivalent to two, a D is equivalent to one, and of course an F equals a zero. So we begin by looking at class, the first class, ACA 115, it is a one credit hour class, and the student received a B. So for that class, he got a three uh, for grade points. His next class, Math 70, is a four-hour class, and he received a C, so in that class he got a two grade points. English 111, a three-hour class, he made a B, so once again, that's worth three points. Psych 150, they got an A, so the student receives a four for the A. And then finally, CIS 111, three credit hour class that received a D, and a D is worth one credit point. Next, to figure your quality points, you simply take your number of credit hours times your grade point that you receive for that grade to get your quality point for that class. Uh, so a one credit hour class at three points, one times three would be three. For the next class, a four hour class times a two would give you eight. A three credit hour class times three points would give you a nine. Three credit hour site 150 class times a four for that A would give you 12. And finally, the three hour CIS 111 times one point would give you a three. From there, you want to get the totals. You first want to begin with the total for the credit hours. So if we add those up, you have 14 credit hours and you have a total of 15, 95 is 24, 8 and 4 is 32, 35 quality points. At this point, to find your total GPA, you simply will take your total quality points, which equals 35, and divide those by your credit hours taken, 14, and that will equal 2.5 GPA and that is the simple way of computing your GPA